In this video, we'll write the equation for PbNO3 2 plus H2O and describe what happens when we put this lead 2 nitrate in water. So lead 2 nitrate, that's made up of a metal and some nonmetal. So that's an ionic compound. And many, not all, but many of these will be soluble in water. That means we put solid lead 2 nitrate in water and it dissolves. Further, nitrates, when we have metals bonded to nitrates, those are almost always soluble. So let's write the equation. We have our solid lead 2 nitrate, and we put it in liquid water. It's going to dissolve and dissociate into ions. So we have the lead ion, that's Pb, and that will have a 2 plus charge, plus NO3. That'll be minus. That's a polyatomic ion. It's called nitrate, and it has a minus charge. So NO3 minus. But note we have this 2 here. That means we have 2 NO3 minus, 2 nitrate ions. So we do need to put a 2 in front of the NO3 minus, the nitrate there. And these are dissolved in water. So we're going to write AQ after each one. That means aqueous. Aqueous means it's dissolved in water. And because of that, we don't need to write H2O on this side. And this is the equation for PbNO3 2 plus H2O. Note that some people don't really consider this a chemical reaction because with the Pb and the NO3s, if all the water were evaporated, you'd go right back to your solid PbNO3 2. But others say it is a chemical reaction because we've split this up. Either way, this is how you can write the equation for PbNO3 2 plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.